Okay, so this is part two of installing Cint OS asterisk and free PVX. Um, we're installing it on a virtual machine, like I said before, with uh, two gigs of RAM, um, 10 gigabytes of hard drive space, and very importantly, a bridged network connection. That way, it actually thinks it's on its own network, which is really important when you're installing a server. If you were installing, you know, maybe like Ubuntu desktop, it wouldn't be so important because you don't have anything trying to connect to the machine. But whenever you're trying to connect to the machine itself using IP phones, soft phones, you know, whatever the case may be, it's very, very important, very important that you do this as a bridge connection. So right now we're just waiting um, for the installer to finish up. Okay, so it's done. So it says remove any media used during the installation process and press reboot button on your system. So the virtual machine, this is going to be power and then uh, reset. And it should automatically lose the ISO. Which it did. So now we're actually booting into the CentOS um, operating system. Very important, important to understand that if you're running it as a virtual machine, the virtual machine has to be running for this to work. You, if you want it to be reliable and always accessible, it has to be on preferably a desktop that's always running um, with enough resources so that you can allocate it and it'll, it'll function properly. As I said before, I had this on a desktop um, running. I didn't say this actual part before, but I had it run on a desktop with a dual core um, AMD running at 3.1 gigahertz, I believe it's an Athlon, and it had 6 gigs of RAM. I had all allowed, allocated 3 gigs of RAM to it in both processors. And um, the problem with it is as VMware runs, um, it consumes more and more um, resources and it gets to the point where you have to reset the machine once a day um, so that it can run smoothly. Um, let's see. I believe right now, right here, we need to just select Network Configuration, Run Tool, Edit Devices, Eth0. Um, you cannot use DHCP. Press spacebar, by the way. Just figured that out. Can I use DHCP with the server? It has to have its own static IP address so that it's always accessible. So I'm going to give mine 192.168.2.2. It's an available IP on my network. Um, so I know I can use it. 255.255.255.0 in that mask. And then the default gateway will be your router. Oh, 2.1. And then you'll, you will come down and press OK. Save. Let's see if there's anything we need to do within DNS. Search. OK. These are what the DHCP, DHCP server gives it by default. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take out the secondary DNS. And we're going to give it 192.168.2.1. And we're going to take out the, the search. We're just going to give it the router's IP address for the DNS. It will suffice for this, this kind of installation. Save and quit. Exit. Type in root, that's the default, and then the password that you set up earlier. Okay, so I didn't have to log in to show you this, which I did it wrong. 
And there we go. So if you see right here at the top, it says to configure asterisk now with FreePS, point your browser to, you see the IP address that it says up there, dot two dot thirty four. That's what I got from um, DHCP. So it doesn't recognize yet that I have entered in a uh, static IP. So what you want to do is just type in reboot now. It's just telling me that it's going to go down for reboot. You wait for it to uh, reboot. Shut down reboot. And when it reboots back up, it should boot straight into just the command prompt and it should have the IP address that you set it up with. If you get any errors in here, um, right now they all say okay, but if you get any errors, some fail errors, some of them ha occur just because you haven't configured the free PBX yet. Um, so that's not to worry. What free P to be it, what free PBX does it just provides you a web interface so that you can go in and you can um, alter the asterisk files without actually having to go into the files and do it in, in command prompt. So it, it makes it basically so anybody who understands a little bit of networking um, can come in and they can set up one of these servers and they can have it running in less than an hour, um, 30 minutes maybe. Bare bones, maybe even quicker. Um, so it's a really, really neat program. Sorry if this seems kind of skippy. I didn't uh, didn't rehearse this or practice this. I'm doing this all off the top of my head, and I haven't done this for about six months. So I apologize if I'm leaving something incomplete. Just leave a question in the comments, or uh, or, or ask me anything. Okay, so now you can see it says to configure asterisk now with FreePVX, point your web browser to 192.168.2.2. Um, you don't really need to log in now. So if you're running this in the virtual machine, you would press, uh, what was it? Control Alt. Yeah, Control Alt takes you out of it so you can minimize it. Um, and this allows you to be able to just leave it. It's still running. Allows you to be able to go log in or go in, log in through the the web GUI, which I will pick up on um, in part three.